today. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And off we go from Jacksonville. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. It's going to put it up right away. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Lawrence will throw. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And he takes it back to the house. It's a fumble recovery and a Charger touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. Now ETN to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Straight ahead, ETN. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. So give him two yards there on the completion. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Here comes Carter. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10. And to 45. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Herbert on first down now. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. 
But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first down, it's Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Herbert throwing again. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 23 yards, the final tally. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Eckler will take this into the end zone for a Charger touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Play action. It's Lawrence. Rolling to his left. And his throw is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Lawrence. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. to throw here, Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big play there for L.A. And even 
70 yards. One of the good things about throwing it in his direction, he usually has the size advantage on those two-man catches. And what I like about his game is that he carries himself at his full height. He understands it's an advantage and uses it at every opportunity. Running on first down, Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21 to nothing. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. The Jaguars gonna go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Lawrence. He targets Ingram for another grab. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. On first down, Lawrence. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. Here's Lawrence to throw. Finds the open target, Arnold. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Second and eight. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. Crossing around, and he hits his man. It's Jones. And the Jags are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Patterson's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. Well, maybe a more victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least they have something to quote-unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. 
So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Sorry, Coach. We'll catch up with you after the game. We're going to skip through halftime here and headed back to the field for the third quarter. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles. Remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Trayvon Walker makes the tackle. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Herbert. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end, Parham. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. My book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Herbert. And he'll find Everett there, complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. He was brought down by Foya Sade Aluikin. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. That's a good-looking play to me. 
the big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. It's a pick up of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. On second down, Eckler. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler, a five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Extra point right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third and one, it's Lawrence. And Ingram holds it in. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Over this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Here's second and a yard. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Well, had a 
his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Lawrence going to throw again. He'll get that underneath ETN. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Man open, here is Jones. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.